On Sunday, we are celebrating World Diabetes Day and the 100th anniversary of the discovery of insulin, a great Canadian discovery. Uh, the exhibit that we're installing right now is a story of Teddy Ryder. He was Dr. Banting's last surviving original patient. He went from six weeks to live in July of 1922. He was six years old and weighed 25 pounds. He died 71 years later, having lived on insulin for 71 of those years. This is a wonderful story. It's called I'm a Fat Boy Now because of a letter that he wrote to Dr. Banting. It was after his insulin treatment and he'd returned home to the United States and he writes him this fantastic letter. Dear Dr. Banting, I hope you're well. I'm a fat boy now and I can even climb a tree. And so it's a real testament of what the discovery of insulin meant. This is Teddy Ryder's first insulin vial. On July 10th, 1922, Frederick Banting came to the home where he was living at the time and gave him his first injection from this very vial. The insulin that was in this vial gave him life. Before insulin, the only treatment was a starvation diet. And once you're on that diet, six months to two years is sort of the rule of thumb of life expectancy. The elixir, this extract, this wonderful Canadian drug changed that diagnosis and he would live another 71 years.